could pretend that that was once a coral, a, bill, a, a bowl coral, and that a very nice bowl would come out of a whirl like that. And that is our weeping willow whirly willow, whirly willow weeping. And all the branches are pointing down to the ground because it's morning for uh, for more water. Because <laughs> weeping willows love water. And they suck it all up. Take in. They're really good for retaining walls. If you're creating a permaculture farm of some sort, these roots going around a pond would be really, really good to keep the water in a central area. Um, when you have different flood zones as well, they also allow for guidance and you get to grow a weeping willow tree as well. Um, they can also be a little bit invasive. There are some people who would say that they do grow in a bit too much and that's up to you to be able to um, manage your forest in which way that you would like to do. But I think they're beautiful trees. Um, I'm sure Johnny would agree. In fact, he's collecting branches right now so that he could probably weave a basket out of these beautiful branches because they're so bendy and they just go in all sorts of different ways and you can make some amazing crafty things with the willow. Um, in different cultures, this is considered to be a feminine tree. They'll masculine and feminine their trees. They'll uh, genderize their trees. And this is particularly a very feminine tree and I think above all the other trees that this one symbolically shows itself in its feminine ways um, in so many different ways it definitely has that feel for myself a whirling weeping willow <laughs> So long! Oh my God! So uh. long! I wanted to add it to the, like a, a weaving project. We once made a basket to catch fish, a net to catch fish. <laughs> well, <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> the fish went right through the hole.